up. Come on now, listen. We are running a little late today. <laughs> Oh my yeah, God. we needed like four more minutes and we would be good. Yeah, but... we need to straighten the camera out a little bit. <laughs> Things are getting a little, little crazy around here. It Jess. is. I feel like it's um, real. Okay. Anyway. Wow. Wow. Uh, Rich is not here today, but that's okay um, because we're talking about AI. Yes. Just Listen. released their newest version of their lights. So yes. we're going to do a kind of a recap on that. Show us using um, one of the new Hydro 32s on one of the tanks here. Yes, very exciting, very, very exciting. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns. I'm gonna pull up uh, yeah, Facebook, dude, listen, I think. We're yeah, I'll do Facebook. <laughs> get some people in here. <laughs> we're trying to get this whole thing here so you can see what's going on. We're trying to do something a little different here than normal. Uh, let me see. Okay, all right. I think we are good. Let me see if it all works. We'll play the we're gonna product play video first. Yes. Do we have a product video? Yes. We do. All right. Let's roll the video, and then we'll get ourselves all straightened up. Roll we'll that product <laughs> video, Keenan. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to talk today about the new and improved Hydra HD series from Aqua Illumination. We'll play the. The Hydra series has gotten a major upgrade. We went from the Hydra 26 now to the Hydra 32. We've also gone from the Hydra 52 up to the Hydra 64. The Prime unit is now going to be called the Prime 16 HD. The Hydra series is going to get you more LEDs, more PAR, a wider spectrum, and a nice even spread over your aquarium. Some of the design features have changed on the Hydra HD series. The fixture itself has gotten a little bit thinner so that it's a slim profile when hung above your aquarium. More LEDs means more full spectrum output. The TIR lenses shape and improve efficiency. The result is more color pop and a wider output. One of the new features of this light is a dedicated moonlight channel. This dedicated moonlight channel actually simulates the natural lunar color. The mounting system for the new Hydra series has not changed. So if you have an existing mounting hardware, you can use the new lights with that mount. The My AI app has been completely updated. It now connects to your light extremely fast. It also has sunrise, sunset, color mixing, lunar cycles, weather. To simplify the setup process, you can visit waterboxaquariums.com and download a predetermined blueprint designed specifically for your aquarium. It now connects to your light. Once you've downloaded the blueprint from the Waterbox Aquarium's website, you can upload it now to the My AI app by simply going to Control and Presets. We are excited here at Waterbox to offer the Hydra HD series to our Waterbox lineup with the Plus HD. For more information, visit waterboxaquariums.com. All right, good video. Great uh, presentation of that. We are having a little bit of technical difficulties on YouTube. Fixed it. All fixed. Okay, good we to go. We got fixed. Yay! Audio should be good. All right. Golly, man, what is happening <laughs> today, guys? Listen. We have a lot of people watching. Um, we do. We, we got, got... Who do we got over there? I mean, we got Noel, we have Devin, we have Edwin, Scott, lots and lots of people checking in. Um, everyone's excited to see the new lights out in... A couple people just asking questions on like what amount of lights and stuff. But you can check out our website for like yes. what we pair with certain size tanks, and also check out our customer service. We'll help you answer those questions too. Yeah. So we got Lucas B, Waterbox Reef, Dustin, One Production, Reef Ghost, um, Austin, Steve says audio check one two three. Good to go. We're All good right. to go. <laughs> okay. So um, here we go. All right. So let's see if this works. So first things first, right guys? So everybody's asked a lot of questions, right? Mm -hmm. Because this light was just released literally a, like a day or two ago. Um, we do have them. Um, they used to be the 26, right? Now it's right. the 32. Yeah, so the Hydra 26 is now uh, replaced by the Hydra 32. Mm -hmm. The Prime HD is replaced by the Prime 16. Correct, so, yes. So just a few so, changes made. A uh, few changes. So we want to show you kind of how it all goes. So Keen, if you can go to this uh, iPad here and I will show you um, here. So let me try and see, make sure this is good. So the new Hydra has uh, Bluetooth 
capabilities, right? Okay. Not just Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. So it has Wi Fi, but it also has Bluetooth. It has a new um, uh, connectivity so that you can find the stuff real easy. So it found the device right away and it says it's part of an aquarium. If you'd like to add it to a new tank, it will need to be factory reset. So we're going to go ahead and reset this. So we, that was pretty fast. <laughs> wow. Okay. Boom. Boom. So I'm going to click on the 32. I go next. It's now the firmware is checking for the update to make sure that everything is compatible, right? Mm -hmm. Up in the cloud. And now meanwhile, this light is over our frag 45.2 in the lobby that you mm -hmm. see there. The light just went off. Um, but it is still updating here, you'll see. So this might take just a few minutes. And the nice thing with this is actually it's compatible with the previous mount. So all we did is take off the 26 that was on there and swap it right with the 32, the actual light fixture itself, using the same bracket and everything. So mm -hmm. it was a really easy, quick swap. Yes. So somebody's asking, one production says, is that a WWC Hawaiian punch anemone? Um, no, it's not. Hmm. This no, is like not. a water box special. It's one that we've actually grown and kept in our tanks for the last couple of years, actually. Yeah. Um, and it just keeps making its way around and splitting and stuff. So mm -hmm. um, we'll call that a uh, WD, a WB special. <laughs> w WB special tip on anime. Not a WC, this is a WB. This is a WB. So um, yeah, it's been, I think it's actually been somewhere within one of our tanks and part of um, our aquariums for like four or five years. Something yeah. like that. So yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it, has yeah, it, has been, it started as one. Times. There's many of them now um, on that uh, one, and they're beautiful. But so, it's still checking for this update. It's still doing this little thing. So, you might switch back to us for a little bit. It's getting there. Thing. It's getting there. It's, it's doing its thing. So, um, I did have the light paired with my phone. I just disconnected it, and I'm going to try and reset it with uh, the firmware on here. So, okay. um, but we need to tell people about the light, right? So, mm -hmm. what, what's different about it? Um, this is the old light. So that's the 26. Um, great light. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. This thing will grow anything. Yeah, we've used them on all of our tanks and they've been out there for a long time. Amazing. So they're fantastic light. lights for sure. Amazing. So Made the a few new changes. One, slight changes, a little bit thinner, mm -hmm. right? Um, and the LED pucks have kind of um, gotten smaller and more compact. Yeah, they recessed them into the fixture a little bit a little more bit. too, mm -hmm. so they're not as flush with the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, like I said, they're a little bit smaller pucks themselves. Yes. So um, I'm trying to go here. It's still checking for updates. All right. It must know it's on TV. It must know <laughs> that we're live on TV and there's lots of people watching on YouTube and Facebook. Okay. Um, so what else, right? So the controllability, it's mm -hmm. got some more colors, right, Jess? So um, AI's made it a little bit easier to connect, do different things. Still has a lot of the same features as the 26. Yeah, it's the same. The family. Yeah, the same base, the yeah. good quality lights. It's going to be able to grow anything just like the 26 to the 32 or the Prime to the Prime 16. Mm -hmm. um, so it's still going to allow you to grow pretty much any type of corals that you want. And it's still paired with Waterbox in the same increments and everything, too. Correct, correct, yes. So this thing is still updating. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> just going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> on live television. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so the light is actually on the tank, so I can't even show you that unless I go to that. Um, um, we do have, so we can also we show that we do have them, the new lights on our website with our plus editions. Yes. Yes, so that is updated on yes. the website is that all the plus editions are now with the 32s or the Prime 16. Mm -hmm. um, so we've updated all of that because the new lights were released on Monday. Correct. And that's when Correct. everything was changed over at yeah. that point. So The mounts have stayed the same, mm -hmm. right? So all the mounts, the HMS mounts, um, everything is identical on that. So if you have existing mounts and you just wanted to upgrade yourself, you just take the light off, bolt the new light on. Everything, all the hardware is going to mount the same. Yeah. So they are compatible, um, and even we've got some information through our support channel, support at waterboxaquariums.com, on, um, and there's also articles of that each one, what the mounts are, if they are compatible with the version to the old, what replaces what. So it's really easy to yes. check with that. So we have uh, Eric says he's tuned in uh, from cold Norway. Oh. He's watching. He goes, you guys rock. Norway. Oh, yes. man. Yes. Yes. So... Um, and we're still waiting for the update. So it's still, <laughs> the firmware is still loading. All right. Guys, it's okay. We're just going to keep, keep going. Uh, we should tell everybody about the family reunion. Okay. Yeah. Let's right? talk so about family reunion. So you talk about family reunion while this thing is updating. Um, 
So we have the family reunion coming up. Uh, we have dropped a, a little bit here and there for like the last two weeks or whatever. Um, and here's our family reunion. So this is happening down in the Keys at Hawks Cave Resort. Mm -hmm. February 1st through 2nd. It's going to be a really fun event. It's going to have a lot of hands-on workshops and speakers. It's not a trade show where there's lots of booths and it's like that. This is more mm -hmm. kind of getting out there, had a lot of fun with everyone who loves this industry and loves this hobby and fish tanks. You don't have to be a water box owner. Um, if you love fish and tanks, come on down. We're going to have a lot of great speakers and workshops here. Excellent, excellent. So you just scroll down there too in the family reunion. Oh, oh that's all right. All right. Oh. We'll go back to it. <laughs> All right, because I wanted to get back to this AI light. We'll go back to the reunion in a minute. <laughs> so if you hit this screen here, um, so now it's done, it's loaded. I call it the lobby, and there you can see the light is on. And the thing is glistening. Glistening. <laughs> it's beautiful. So uh, here on the dashboard, I don't know if you can see, uh, there's a live demo that you can click. And there it's going to pop up, so I can now manually control uh, the different light Ooh. colors. Do you see what I'm saying? How I did that? And this is all very similar to how the old one works with the app as well. As far as you can do all those channels, change your colors yes. manually. And what happens is when it says HD available, so you can actually overdrive this channel. See it says 124%. Wow. So what happens is it, it pulls from the other wattage of the LEDs and transfers it to that LED. That's so very that, cool. So yeah. you can overdrive a certain color spectrum. A certain channel right which is really really neat but a lot of people do that with the blues to really make all the colors pop on the corals yes. because that blue is what brings out the like the vibrant fluorescent colors yeah so you can see it's very responsive it works very fast and it also tells you your power usage here you know that we're at 53 watts on this thing now another really cool thing that i want to show you guys uh here on this light is the dedicated moonlight channel now you see that jess it's mm -hmm. A, I would call it a, what's the, what's the word? Uh, lunar. Lunar. Natural color. Natural color lunar. Okay. Right? So uh, most of the time, and I'll, I'll go back to it. There it is. In the past, moonlights have been blue. Yeah. Yeah. Now AI has said, listen, it's not really blue. It's actually uh, like a, a warm whitish light. Yeah, so it's when you see the like, moon going yeah. down on the ocean or whatever, I mean, the moon is white, it's going to yeah. have that color. So it's going to be, and one of the great things that people have always loved about yeah. AI lights is that you can follow like their lunar cycles and yes. weather and stuff, which is also, it's been proven for like mm -hmm. um, spawning in Absolutely. your aquarium. So now you have a more realistic moon for the lunar cycles, which is, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so here, so there's, there's different things here on, the, on this device. Real easy, you can hit the schedule, right? So we want to schedule this whole thing, I'm gonna to go to lighting. And then they even have an easy setup button, right? So what happens is I can set here my sunrise, you know what I mean? I can set it at, we're going to wake up at 9 a.m. We're gonna to go to sunset. We'll go to tonight at 8 p.m. Just for saying, it's gonna one hour ramp up time. And then I can now go ahead and control what my colors are gonna be here, right? So I can go ahead and control all this. And I say done. And now the schedule has already been done for me. So if you've never even so had a light or anything that you've done before, it's very easy to set. Simple. Very, very user-friendly, um, not hard to figure out very, with technology. Very, very simple. The reason there's a little moon button up there at the top, we hit the moon, and it says, oh, you want the lunar, it's disabled. I can go ahead and now I can enable the moon. So now it's going to do that. There's also an acclimation mode on there. Very cool. Very, very cool. There's different... Uh, settings here you can do your time do some advanced stuff connect more devices um, if you wanted to not do individual you can actually do color wheel do you see that pick your spectrum yeah so you can easily just dial this in and see how the graph is changing you know how i do that so it's really interesting very easy to use mm -hmm. go back to the dashboard and we're on Done. i mean the tank is, is running perfectly so also, when you click this, it's going to show you all the different devices that you can do. So if you have a Nero pump, mm -hmm. you have other hydrolytes, whatever it may be, it'll show up here and all on this dashboard. Yes, yeah, like your whole dashboard has all the AI yes. kind of uh, equipment on there, then they work out together. So Yeah, so it's really, really great. And you can see that, man, this, tank, this thing is very responsive. Very nice. We'll it give you a great. good insight to how to use the program and everything. So, so let us. Uh, Steve says, "Thumbs up, Reef Fam." Hey, thumbs up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Waterbox Reef says, looks great, Dean. Very cool. Um, it is. It's a really neat uh, light. A lot of people, you know, are kind of shocked that it, um, you know, AI just said, we're, we're going for it. You know what I mean? They're taking over the market, man. I mean, yeah, and they always have the good and great light. So, I mean, they just, you know, are going to fine tune it every so often and release something. Um, but, like I said, we've always loved lights. And they've been around for a long time. I kind of always called them the pioneer in the LED lights. So, absolutely. from the very beginning, they've always had a great product. So, um, mm -hmm. no matter which AI light you get, you're going to be happy. Absolutely. Now, also the Prime, right? So, the Prime unit is pretty much half of the Hydra 32. That's a good way to explain it because it's got one right. puck of LEDs. One puck. So, whereas the 32 has two of them, 16, correct. 32. Right. So that it's uh, kind of really interesting how they do that. Um, but once again, form factor. And another thing that's kind of neat, they say it's splash resistant, Jess. Okay. So not that it's you're not going to dunk it underwater, <laughs> but it is over a moisture environment, right? So mm -hmm. it's wet, So, but it's, it's sealed up a little bit you know, tighter than previous models so that it's going to resist, uh, you know, any kind of corrosion. Yeah, it's going to last a long time yeah. in the environment. It's a harsh environment with our aquarium, so yes, um, that's very, very important. But so, mm -hmm. um, it's good. So someone says, um, could you run the fifty twos on the water box one hundred point three? Yeah. Sure, yeah, I mean, you to. can go more light. I mean, the bigger the fixture you have, mm -hmm. generally you're going to keep it at a lower percentage. If you were doing like a full SPS tank from top to bottom, um, you would probably be able to use a higher percentage of it, but mm -hmm. you're just not going to use it as full force as you would like a 32 on that size tank. Correct. So, um, yeah. It's just more output, more wattage, all of that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So um, any anybody shouting out questions No, everyone's there? just happy they love it. And everyone loves Waterbox, and good to see the new lights and everything in action. So... Um, that's about it, but wow. we'll go back um, to Also, yeah, we want to talk about the family reunion, but before we do that, also, Jess Stewart wanted us to remind everybody about uh, Reef of Palooza Chicago. Yeah, so that is not mm -hmm. this weekend, but the next weekend. Yes. It's coming up, mm -hmm. so Reef of Palooza Chicago. Go check it out if you're in the area. Jess is going to be there at the Waterbox booth showing off the tanks. Um, she's happy to answer any questions and mm -hmm. let you go see, you know, check yeah, it out. Yeah, so if you're in the Chicago area next weekend, Come see Reefa Palooza. Oh yeah, um, 19th it's and 20th. Be a great event. It's the first time they're doing it in the city, so that is um, true. It's going to be exciting to see how uh, it all comes together. Good so, to see good Chicago see getting a Reefa Palooza in their yeah, area. Yeah, listen, man, Chicago's just jamming. So uh, reefing community is really growing big in that mm -hmm. area. So um, definitely go see Waterbox, um, and then. We're going to go back to the family reunion because while I got your attention, guys, I'm telling you, you don't want to miss this event, right? It's in the Florida Keys, February 1st and 2nd. I'm going to scroll down there, Keenan, real quick. Why, you know, why are you going to attend? We've got speakers, workshops, family, friends, the resort itself. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Look at these things that they have down here, right? Well, actually, some of the speakers. We've got Joe Caparata, Jay from Ecotech, David from Reef to Reef, Scott Crow, Jordan. Um, we got Bob Fenner, Frank, Roxanne from um, Coral Restoration Foundation, Chris Meckley from ACI. Yeah. Uh, we also have, it's not posted on there, but Jake Adams from Reef Builders is coming. And we're constantly um, adding speakers and workshops to yeah. the lineup, so we're continually to announcing new stuff to kind of you, but the, you're going to get hands on workshops and great speakers, mm -hmm. um, lots of education, and just people that love the hobby. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Waterbox Live is going to be broadcasting from there. We're going to have a Margaritaville Saturday night reception. Oh, yeah. We got Cornhole Tournament by the Reef Shine guys. Come <laughs> That's on That's going to be now. fun. Listen, uh, Florida Keys Aquarium Encounter. So there's a huge aquarium, public aquarium there. Um, with a ticket, you get free admission. It's just five minutes down the road from the resort. So we're all going to uh, caravan over there to go see um, the cool aquarium that they have there. That's awesome. And then the activities. I mean, look at Hawks K. I mean, look at this dolphin encounter. You can swim with a dolphin. They yes. have endless things for you to do if you want. Like besides yes. just coming to see the speakers exactly. and workshops and hang out, you have. I mean, go out on boats. Go hang out with dolphins. There's a saltwater lagoon. Go get a massage. Pools. Have a spa treatment. Swim Snorkeling. in the pool. Whatever you want. Um, it's pretty much there. You're yep. in the Keys. It's a beautiful setting, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, and guys, the ticket prices are very, very cheap. Um, when you scroll down, we have tons of sponsors. More coming. And they're all going to be there. They're all going to be represented there. Is it not a trade show environment? It's just more hanging out. We're having a great time. Yeah. You know, uh, we got swag. Dude, we can get you some swag and the tickets. Seventy-five dollars for a day pass. One twenty-nine early bird, and then a weekend's one ninety-nine, mm -hmm. and that gets you 
uh, the Saturday dinner or the reception. The, yeah. The full access to everything. So Lots of fun stuff. $199, guys, you can't go wrong. So definitely uh, check that out. We want to see you at the reunion. Um, wow. So much. <laughs> Man, you have no idea. We, we throw this together. Um, Waterbox <laughs> Reef says, I really need to go to the reunion so bad. Yes. We want you there. We want everyone to come join us. It's going to mm -hmm. be a lot of fun. So, um, you know, check out the details on that. Mm -hmm. Book your hotel, get your ticket, start planning for it. You got Absolutely. a couple months. And, you know, what better thing to do in wintertime than come see Florida? Because it's really nice and warm here. Yeah, it's like paradise. <laughs> it's like paradise down there. Um, guys, if you have any questions at all about the lights themselves, mm -hmm. I would strongly encourage you to go to Aqua Illuminations, um, their customer support. They are there to answer any questions that you may have. Yeah. Um, that's really going to be the best. They'll have all the technical stuff. They're answering the phones yeah. and emails constantly. So they'll be able to help you out with that um, mm -hmm. and um, you know answer all those questions you could have. And mm -hmm. like I said, on ours, we've got them matched with our, our water box models so you know exactly what to pair with it for the Plus Editions totally. for that size tank. So make totally. it as easy as possible. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll do more with these lights as we uh, as they come in. Mm -hmm. We start putting them on and um, doing some different cool builds. Uh, we also have a very unique uh, series we're going to start next Wednesday. Yeah. So, so it's going to be very interesting. I think you guys would like it. So I uh, can't tell you about it. Stay tuned. Just stay tuned <laughs> on Wednesday. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you soon. See you next week.